Hi, Lee Ashby here again. I'm um, just looking at the X Shipping Pro extension for OpenCart. We've already looked at the flat rates and free shipping and heavy item shipping options uh, for this store. Now we want to have a look at the wholesale options on, on how we um, handle shipping for our wholesale customers. Um, okay. So for this store, um, the client wants to handle wholesale shipping uh, for two geographical regions. The first one is for Victoria in Australia, and the other one is for outside of Victoria using a, a flat rate. Uh, so let's look at the flat rate for Victoria. We've got our criteria. Now I've set up some geo zones previously in the open cart settings um, to define these options. So I've created Australia Victoria on its own and uh, there's the other option for Australia except Victoria. So quite simple and we can have a look at um, how to set up those or customize those uh, in a minute. But basically, once they're defined in the geo zones, you can just pick what you want. Uh, and then the rest of it is fairly straightforward. So for any city, um, for Australia, and our customer group um, that we've got set up is our wholesale group. So we tick them and not our default group. In our category and product page, um, we want to apply the same rules that we've talked about in the previous videos. Um, so for our heavy products, um, we want to um, handle them differently. So in our flat rate method, we want to exclude uh, the heavy items. So it's, the flat rate is only available if these items aren't in our cart. Uh, so the pricing is straightforward, just a flat $20 fee uh, for our Victoria wholesale customers. And that's just the default uh, settings which we've looked at previously, so I won't bother talking about them. So for outside of Victoria, um, we've basically got this flipped, that it is for Australia except Victoria, so just got that option ticked, so basically the reverse of the other one. Um, and for our wholesale group again, and we've also got our items in there that we don't want to have in our cart. And the pricing is the main point of difference here, um, so $30 for outside of Victoria. And default settings there. So that's fairly straightforward. Um, when dealing with the heavy items for our wholesalers, we've got some options set up for them. So our wholesaling is also to Australia only, so we've got Australia tick there and for the wholesale group we've got that tick there and this is where we define our heavy products uh, for the group so that's where we've got any of the selected products um, is added in there so the pricing similar to before in the previous videos we can set them up using our quantity method specific type and we just add one row with a wide range um, and we set the price. So $15 per one item. Um, we've covered the unit blocks in previous items, but if we wanted to create a, a breaking price point, we can add that in there. And that may be something that you actually do for wholesalers um, because they'll be buying uh, quantities in, in wholesale quantity and that'll be probably a more a fairer way um, to charge. So maybe you know per five or per ten item, uh, we can we can add that in. 
Now this setting is for all of these products. If there was different pricing uh, for different products, then we'd have to create um, another method and separate out uh, different items on how we how we want to do it. So it's up to the to the store owner how complex they want to get it and and and, and how uh, fair and equitable they want to make it. Um, so that's basically about it for that setup. One point that I did want to make is that we're using um, just another group, group four, for the wholesalers. Um, so that keeps it nice and separate. So group four, group four, and group four. If we go back to the global settings to see what we're using for group four, we're summing things together. So they're getting the flat rate plus the additional surcharge of the heavy item. Uh, so that works works quite straightforward. I won't bother showing the front end uh, for that. It works quite similar to the previous video in that it sums the two items together. Okay, now before I go on this video, I want to show you how I set up the criteria. Sorry, just go to this one. Uh, the criteria to create the geo zones. So let's have a look where I've done that. So I think it's in system and is it in zones or geo zones? I can't remember. I think it might be in geo zones. In geo zones, um, so we just click on add new and you'll get a new record to fill in. Um, so I've just created two zones um, in this inst instance. Um, so if we want to adjust this, for example, um, say we wanted to add New South Wales you can just choose them from this list so we just click on add and choose the country where are we Australia New South Wales and save and then in this one we would remove New South Wales by clicking that we'll just save it and we'll probably need to update the descriptions as well while we're at it so Victoria and New South Wales save so just takes a few little seconds oh, we'll update that one as well except Vic and New South Wales so now we've just easily adjusted that we've added Vic, uh, New South Wales into our um, cheaper wholesale price point. Um, if you were going to start shipping wholesale to New Zealand we could add new, call it New Zealand uh, same thing there for the description find New Zealand, let's just choose China and save and we've just added a new geo zone and then we can set up the rules uh, for that zone but let's just back out of there and I'll go in here and change these things as well. I'll just keep recording um, so you can see this too. If you ever need to remove something, we don't want New South Wales anymore. Just back to Victoria and save. And this is everything except Vic. So we'll need to add. Uh, where's Australia? Australia and New South Wales. Save and we're all good. I'll just double check that one because something funny happened there. Yep, no, that's all good. 
excellent so that's where you go and adjust that So just looking now at the overview of it for this store, we've got flat rates for Australia, New Zealand, a free shipping feature for $150. We've got a product surcharges uh, for heavy items or any other particular item that we want to charge more for, we can, can add them in. And we've also got a separate pricing structure for our wholesale customers um, based on a location um, at a fairly high level at, at a state level um, so yeah I can highly recommend X Shipping Pro um, it certainly handled everything um, that I've needed and looks like there's a lot more functionality uh, if you need so yeah I could certainly recommend it as a shipping extension that's all for now I hope that's been useful uh, for anyone putting their um, shopping carts together and, and handling um, shipping certainly many ways to do it um, but yeah X Shipping Pro I think works quite well um, basically once it's all set up I think you'll be able to pretty much uh, set and forget um, apart from just adding in the the heavy items okay thanks bye